Hello folks, my name is Georgie Grimm and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. Hello, as you can tell, my kitty is loudly meowing for me right now. So give me five seconds. She's on her way. Hi, <laughs> she scared me. <laughs> She's here. Her name's Lily, by the way. This is Lily. Lily, say hello to the audience. She's really cute. I'm sorry. Sorry if you think that's fucking animal abuse, but it's not, so fuck you guys. As you can tell, I am wearing my gay pride shirt because it is Pride Month and I am gay. So I am coming back to you live with some information. I'm really fucking tired, folks. Basically, what my entire day has consisted of was me going to first the library to get my homework done and my schoolwork done because I'm taking summer online courses. And then I spent the rest of the time going to a different cafe because I didn't want to be at the library anymore. So I went to a different cafe and I completed some research about what I'm about to be talking to you guys about. So I did some more research and now I'm coming to you with information about Baghdad, Washington and Hesseltine, Washington. Now, this is a little bit shitty. It's gonna be very short <laughs> because again, we have the same issue that we did have last time, which is the issue being the fact that I don't have enough information about Baghdad or Hesseltine because of the fact that these towns are in, again, an unincorporated community and the historical records have basically been lost. And each of these communities have been named as historic communities, which means that the information no longer exists about the community because of the fact that it, the information's just been lost because that tends to happen when towns are centuries old. So I'll read you what small information I have. So I'm gonna start with Baghdad, Washington because I have it right here on my computer. So what I found is very slim information. So basically, back to Baghdad, Washington, right? Folks, okay. So basically, I just saw my little brother sitting outside of my door, like a little lonely lost child waiting for me to be done filming, which was really cute of him. Um, I love him a lot. Unfortunately, I have to go to bed in the next 30 minutes because I have to get up at 5 a.m. like I keep saying. So here's the information that I found about Baghdad, Washington. There are about 19 different communities with the same name as Baghdad, Washington, spelled B-A-G-D-A-D, -D, not B-A-G-H-D-A-D, -D, like it is spelled for the city in Iraq. While the name Baghdad is unique within Washington, we know about 18 other communities with the same name in the United States and Canada. And I'm reading this from a website, which is given me information about Baghdad because there's so little information that doesn't even matter. Like I can literally like pull it from my asshole and be like, yes, this is the information about Baghdad, but it doesn't really matter. So anyways, just to name a couple of different communities that have the same name as Baghdad, Washington, there's ones in Arizona, California, Colorado, Florida, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Michigan, New Brunswick, New York, Ohio, Pennsylvania, South Carolina, Tennessee, Texas, and Virginia. Those are the cities that have towns named Baghdad in them. So I'm going to read you guys what I found on this website so and I'm reading this directly from the website so I apologize that I keep looking down at my laptop so it says we use the term historic broadly and it generally means that the community no longer exists however it can also mean that the community might still exist but was significantly larger or had more official existence in the past than it does now unfortunately our sources of data have proven to be unreliable and basically they're saying if you can provide any more information about Baghdad that would be really helpful and honestly as somebody who's also also researching about this topic. If anybody who's watching this video has any information about Baghdad, Washington, please provide that in the comment section down below because I truly would like to know more about this community because it's really, really bizarre. To me. So, and they continue to say, if we encounter the name of what might be a community, our methodology is to add that name to our gazetteer as a placeholder. Just as a reminder, our definition of a community is rather broad and includes those places or areas where several families lived and had a name which identified that place. For example, you might hear somebody say that they're going over to Rock Creek to see Pete. Rock Creek is just a gas station and a couple of homes at the crossroads. While it might not be on the map, everybody in the area knows it by that name. So it's basically just saying people will oftentimes call certain places by the name that everybody knows it as, but it's not usually the actual name that it went by. So Baghdad might not even be the real name of 
the town that we visited. It might have gone by a different name. People just called it that because that's what they knew it as. So also keep in mind that Baghdad could have been on the original document by mistake, misspelled, or alternate name of a community that we've listed elsewhere or was placed in the wrong county. Sometimes a post office or train station would have a different name than the community where it's located. So two names might be referring to the same community. We're working to straighten it all out. The shortest line can be visualized by stretching a string on a globe from point A to point B. This is known as the Great Circle Route, where you might expect the shortest route from Baghdad to the Middle East and to the South. The Great Circle Route actually lies on the North and East. So that's the small information that I have about Baghdad, Washington. I'll read you guys what the uh, information that ha that was on the ghost website that Tony and I were following while we were doing this ghost hunting adventure. So basically it says, Baghdad is on the old highway between Wilbur and the Grand Coulee Dam at the intersection at the turnoff of Almira. If one takes this drive, you will pass by the site of Heseltine, see the old Grand Coulee Grange Hall, pass the site of Baghdad Farm, and will pass old deserted farm building, the old KSDR radio station, and will eventually get to Grand Coulee. To start on this road, pass through Wilbur towards Grand Coulee. Take the Keller Ferry turnoff. Go down this road about five miles and take the first left west. That is an asphalt road. This is the old highway. This road will cross the new highway three times, eventually taking you to Grand Coulee. And this was submitted by somebody named Wayne Reed. The county that Baghdad is in is in the Lincoln County, basically on a two-way road. Road. The climate is hot in summer and it's accessible all year long and nothing remains in that location. So that's the history of Baghdad, Washington. There's literally no history. I want to die. Fuck my life, yo. Here's Charlie, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, so now I have to move on. So, on to Heseltine, Washington. So, Heseltine, Washington is located on the old highway between Wilbur and the Grand Coulee at the base of the Broad Axe Hill. To get to the old highway, one has to go through Wilbur towards the Grand Coulee. Turn right at the Keller Ferry turnoff. Go down this road about five miles and take the first left west. That is an asphalt road. This is the old highway and will cross the new highway three times. After you cross the new highway, Way the second time, the road eventually starts up a series of curves. This is the Broad Axe Hill. Heseltine is located at the base of this hill on the right. This old highway eventually gets you to the Grand Coulee and turns off to Almira part line. As you almost get to the Grand Coulee, you go through a series of switchbacks. At this point, there is a beautiful view of the Grand Coulee and Grand Coulee Dam, also submitted by Wayne Reed. So this is also within the Lincoln County, and it's on a two-way road, and it's accessible all year round. And actually, there are a few things that remain. What we saw when we were there was an old rundown barn. It hadn't fallen in yet, but you could tell it's about to, and it's abandoned. Everything that we saw was abandoned. We saw some weird things in there. We actually saw a dead coyote in there, but we're not going to post that because that's not cool. And then we saw a old destroyed house that was basically like, probably was somebody's house. And then we saw a old greenhouse that was really small. It was about like probably like 14 by 15 feet. No, that's pretty big actually. It was probably like three by five. It's really, really small. And then we saw an old shed that was still intact and was still standing. So that's all the information I have about Hasseltine. Again, literally nothing remains. So same thing within Hasseltine as there was with Baghdad. Again, with these unincorporated communities, there's information lost, historic records lost. So I'm sorry for the lack of information here. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that I can find more information about the next communities that I'm about to research for the next upcoming videos. Please stay tuned for this video and please be sure to check out Tony's video in which he will be posting this upcoming week. It's Forlorn Part 2. And if you haven't yet checked out Forlorn Part 1, please do so. I will be linking it down below in my description box. Thanks for watching this video, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time. K okay, thanks. Bye. By the way, happy birthday. Dumbass. By the way, happy birthday, Tony. You are 23 now. That's fucking cool. I love you. Happy birthday, buddy.